friends to my program Book Corner. Today I have for you a famous Japanese book titled The Tale of Genji. This book is considered one of the oldest novels ever written. Its date of creation is about the year 1000 during the Heian period. The Tale of Genji is a classic work of Japanese literature written in the early 11th century by the noble woman and lady in waiting. Her name was Murasaki Shikibu. The original manuscript created around the peak of Heian period, the last division of classical Japanese history running from 794 to 1185 no longer exists. It was made in concertina, a free reed musical instrument or orion, a book style originating from the Tang dynasty in China, in which several sheets of paper were pasted together and folded alternately in one direction and then the other. The work is a unique depiction of the lifestyles of high courtiers during the Heian period. It is written in archaic language and in a poetic and complex style that makes it unreadable to the average Japanese speaker without specialized study. It was not until the early 20th century that Genji was translated into modern Japanese by poet Akiko Yosana. The first English translation was attempted in 1882 by Suimatsu Kencho but was of poor quality and also incomplete. The work recounts the life of Hikaru Genji or Shining Genji who is the son of an ancient Japanese emperor known to readers as Emperor Kiritsubo and a low-ranking concubine called Kiritsubo's consort. For political reasons, the emperor removes Genji from the line of succession, demoting him to a commoner by giving him the surname Minamoto, one of the surnames bestowed by the emperors of Japan upon members of the imperial family who were excluded from the line of succession. Thereafter, Genji pursues a career as an imperial officer. The tale concentrates on Genji's romantic life and describes the customs of the aristocratic society of those times. It perhaps is the world's first novel, the first psychological novel and the first novel still to be considered a classic, particularly in the context of Japanese literature. There is a debate over how much of Genji was actually written by Murasaki Shikibu. Debates over the novel's authorship have gone on for centuries now and are unlikely to ever be settled unless some major archival discovery is made. Now, let me take you through the plot of this very interesting book or novel. Please be attentive because the names are Japanese and difficult to pronounce for a non-Japanese and also the names are difficult to remember. The plot starts with the death of Genji's mother when he is three years old. The emperor cannot forget her. Emperor Kiritsubo then comes to know of a woman, Lady Fujitsubo, formerly a princess of the preceding emperor who resembles his diseased concubine and later she becomes one of his wives. Genji loves her first as a stepmother but later as a woman they fall in love with each other. Genji is frustrated because of his forbidden love for Lady Fujitsubo and is therefore on bad terms with his own wife. The name of his wife is Aoi no Yui or the Lady Aoi. Genji engages in a series of love affairs with other women. These love affairs are however unfulfilling as in most cases his advances are rebuffed or his lover dies suddenly or he gets bored of them. Genji visits Kitayama, a rural hilly area north of Kyoto where he finds a beautiful 10-year-old girl. He is fascinated by this little girl called Murasaki and discovers that she is the niece of Lady Fujitsubo. Finally, he kidnaps her, brings her to his own palace and educates her to be like Lady Fujitsubo, who is his woman ideal. During this time, Genji also meets Lady Fujitsubo secretly and she bears his son, Rezi. Everyone except for the two lovers believe the father of the child is Emperor Kiritsubo. Later, the boy becomes the crown prince and Lady Fujitsubo becomes the empress. But Genji and Lady Fujitsubo swear to keep the child's true parentage 
a secret. Geji and his wife Lady Avi reconcile. She gives birth to a son but dies soon after. Genji is sorrowful but finds consolation in Murasaki whom he marries. Genji's father, Emperor Hiritsubo dies. He is succeeded by his son Suzaku whose mother Kokiden together with Emperor Kiritsubo's political enemies grabs power in the court. Then another secret love affair of Genji is exposed. Genji and a concubine of Emperor Suzaku are caught meeting in secrecy. Emperor Suzaku confides his personal amusement at Genji's exploits with a woman, Obora Zukiyo, but is duty bound to punish Genji even though he is his half brother. He exiles Genji to the town of Suma in rural Harima province. Then a prosperous man known by the name of Akashi Novice entertains Genji. Genji has an affair with Akashi's daughter. She gives birth to Genji's only daughter who later becomes the empress. In the capital, Emperor Suzaku is troubled by the dreams of his late father Kiritsubo and something begins to affect his eyes. Meanwhile, his mother Kokiden falls ill which weakens her influence over the throne and culminates in Emperor Suzaku ordering Genji to be pardoned. Genji returns to Kyoto. His son from Lady Fujitsubo Reze becomes the emperor. The new emperor Reze knows Genji is his real father and raises Genji's rank to the highest possible level. However, when Genji turns 40 years old, his life begins to decline. His political status does not change, but his love and emotional life begin to incrementally diminish as middle age takes charge of him. He marries another lady, the third princess, known as Onasan no Miya. But Genji's nephew, Kashiwagi, later forces himself on the third princess and she bears his child, Koru who is in a similar situation to that of Reze and is legally known as the son of Genji. Genji's new marriage changes his relationship with Murasaki, who expresses a wish of becoming a nun, a bhikkhuni, but the wish is rejected by Genji. Genji's beloved Murasaki dies. In the following chapter, Maboroshi, which means illusion, Genji contemplates how fleeting life is. Immediately after the chapter title Maboroshi, there is a chapter title Kumago Kore, which means vanished into the clouds, which is left blank but implies the death of Genji. The book comprises of 54 chapters. Chapters 45 to 54 are known as Uji chapters. These chapters follow Koru and his best friend Neo. Neo is an imperial prince, the son of Genji's daughter and the current empress because Reze has abdicated the throne. Koru is known to the world as Genji's son but is in fact fathered by Genji's nephew. The chapters involve Koru and Neo rivalry over several daughters of an imperial prince who lives in Uji, a place some distance away from the capital. The tale ends abruptly with Koru wondering if Neo is hiding Koru's former lover away from him. Koru has sometimes been called the first anti-hero in literature. Friends, the tale has an abrupt ending. Opinions vary on whether this was intended by the author. Arthur Valley, who drafted the first English translation of the whole of the tale of Genji, believed that the work was completed. Ivan Morris, the author of The World of the Shining Prince, believed that it was not complete and that later chapters were missing. Edward Seiden Sticker, who made the second translation of the Genji, believed that Murasaki Shikibu didn't have a planned story structure with an ending as such, but would simply have continued writing as long as she could. Since the novel is about a thousand years old, there are missing links that cannot be corroborated. I would leave it at that. And that's all I have for today, friends. Goodbye and see you in my next program.